Hello. Jennifer Tucci. Here already. <laughs> After getting unboxing a present from Hobbs Horror. Let's now I'm going to review a movie that I just finished watching. And that is X. <laughs> And, my goodness, and I say it again, my goodness, yes, yes, um, uh, group of actors set out to make an adult film in rural Texas, under the news of their, their recluse host, an elderly couple with a farm and boarding house for rent. But when the couple catches their young guests in the act, the cast finds themselves in a desperate fight for their lives in this tantalizing slasher from writer, director, Ty West. Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> And my goodness, the soundtrack, I must say, was wonderful. And <clears throat> I must say, somebody in this movie, maybe me and is me maybe in 50 years. If I wasn't getting anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, I'm, I'm not that uh, <clears throat> mean, I must say. Yes. Yes, and I was surprised to see uh, Jenna Ortega from... Wednesday in this movie. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Um, yes, there was a, a lot, a lot of nudity. Which, hey, I'm in there. Um, hey. Um, <clears throat> one of the, the, uh, Actors that I liked it made me kind of sad to see him hanging in the basement. But hey, I got to see his wiener, so even if he was dead. A lot of butts in this movie men butts and female butts, I must say. I must say, I enjoyed the male butts. <laughs> All except one. And it was like, last bite you see in the movie. Like, of course, Mia Goth plays the final girl in the movie. I thought somebody else was going to be the final girl because it's usually the, the good girl that plays the final girl. <clears throat> Very inventive deaths, I must say. I must say. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself under control by saying, I must say. <laughs> I'll take that out of my vocabulary now. Okay. Yes. And, um, yes, made in 2022, by the way. And a hundred and nine minutes and I watched the farmer's daughter's extended scene yes and I must say the oh shit I just said it again <clears throat> I enjoyed where they were filming I swear I could hear 
a certain Texas Chainsaw Massacre happening off in my background because it looked so much, the area looked so much like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and reminded me so much of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the area in which they were filming. And of course, the 70s, they were supposed to be filming in the 70s, yes. And of course, you get to see the, what's the police coming first and the carnage afterwards, yes. As a horror movie goes, uh, and one it between a one and five. Damn, this was one damn good slasher movie, and I'm giving it a five. Yes, this this goes right up there with my favorite slasher movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All this was missing was a guy wearing a leather face dancing around with his chainsaw, but they had they were dancing around with other things. Yeah. Dancing around with other things that I enjoyed. Yes. Um very inventive kills. I enjoyed the eye kill by the way, and the end kill, most. Damn, that's a little vicious. Yes, but I, I like that. I kind of had to think, no, she's not Wednesday Adams from Wednesday. When I saw Jenna Ortega and recognized her. I said, damn, don't think of her like that. Don't think of her like that. Don't think of her like that. Or you'll start paying attention to her, not the movie. But once the movie started going, it was like, bing, 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 bam, boom. It was wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, so I give it a five. Ty West did a wonderful job writing and directing this movie. Yes. Yes. Once again, the fight between good and evil. Yes. You know me. And stuff like this. I always go for evil. <laughs> okay. So, thank you, Hobbs, for sending me that for Christmas. And everybody, have a nice day. And hopefully, within I don't know, two hours, I will see you on the midnight hour. I'm just having too much fun with this today. Bye-bye.